Dr. Studer, when did you first think about using stem cells as a possible way to, to treat Parkinson's? Yeah, it's really a very long story. In fact, it's, I think, nearly three decades when we first had the idea of doing so, which was the question, you know, can we really place cells in the brain and what would be the right source? And in fact, that was the goal of my laboratory starting 25 years ago, finding exactly what's the source of uh, dopamine neurons that we could in envisage. And we thought very quickly of stem cells. So first we tested, for example, maybe specifically brain stem cells that could be coaxed into dopamine neurons, but that was not as successful until we realized that there are even more potent stem cells, which are so-called pluripotent stem cells. And those really have the capacity to make unlimited numbers of cells. And they can give rise to pretty much all the cell types of the body. The challenge is, how do you make this very, very specific nerve cell in the brain? And so that was a long journey. It took us at least 10 years of basic research to understand, now what is the code of development? It's a little bit like trying to go through these steps that the cells going normal development, but give them those signals one by one in a culture dish. And so it's a little bit like a code that we need to decipher and then to apply to the cell. 